This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A Pizza Hut delivery man is recovering this morning after being shot on the job. It happened last night in the area of 500 Northeast 41st Street in Deerfield Beach. The victim's mother tells us her son showed up with a pizza and was then shot two or three times in the leg. She doesn't think the injuries are life-threatening. A security guard tells us three or four teens tried to rob him but got away with nothing. Call BSO or Broward Crime Stoppers if you have any information. Louder Hill Police is searching for the vehicle involved in a hit run crash that left a motorcyclist severely injured. This is surveillance video of the crash. You can see the motorcycle on the top part of the screen. It happened Tuesday afternoon at Northwest 24th Street and North State Road 7. And here's a better look at the vehicle police are searching for. Above is a car captured on surveillance and below shows what police believe is a similar model. It is believed to be a beige or gold Hyundai Accent Coupe. Anyone with information is asked to contact Lauder Hill Police or Broward County Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. Two people are recovering this morning following a shooting in Northwest Miami-Dade. Investigators say a man and a woman were sitting in a car last night in the area of Northwest 30th Avenue and 46th Street when someone opened fire. The driver was shot multiple times and the female passenger was grazed. The man then went to a nearby gas station to call for help. Investigators tell us both victims are in their mid-50s and we're told they were stable and transported to area hospitals. We're learning more about the supermarket scare at a West Kendall Publix. A police officer's handgun went off while he was standing in the checkout line. It happened at the store on Kendall Drive in Southwest 168th Avenue. Police tell us an off-duty City of Miami police officer reached into his pocket and somehow his gun discharged. They say the bullet hit the ground and ricocheted, hitting the female customer behind him. Sources tell CBS 4 News the officer is a firearms instructor. We asked Miami-Dade police if there could be charges for the officer. We are told that this, was not, this is not a crime investigation. Now, CBS 4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Thursday morning. As we view from our Windjammer Azora camera, it is cloudy over here in Lauderdale by the sea, uh, dealing with a few showers earlier and now upper 70s in Miami, Fort Lauderdale and Key West. It's mild, it's muggy and wet in spots. As you can see, the rain is moving through parts of Broward County near Pompano Beach. Some moderate rain also seeing wet weather through Kendall Lakes, the hammocks, through parts of downtown Miami, Miami Beach as well as across the Keys, especially earlier. It was quite a soggy start. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s across South Florida. The wind's variable, but generally going to be out of the east as we head later today and through the next few days. Today's sun and clouds with a chance for scattered storms. Highs in the upper 80s keep the umbrellas close. Tonight, a few storms can't be ruled out and overnight lows in the low to mid 70s. We will see the potential for spotty storms for your Friday and Saturday. The rain chance could be a little higher with highs right around 87. Sunday, we'll see a mix of showers and sun with that ocean breeze and the upper 80s continuing through next week. Maribel. I said thank you and that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com. Tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11. Follow today's important headlines.